Welcome back to Golf Extra. Known for his relatable and sometimes arrogant persona, Brooks Kepka has garnered plenty of fans and haters in the golf world. Whether it is from his much publicized rivalry with Bryson DeChambeau or from his incredible run of form from 2017 to 2019, Kepka always seems to be making headlines. The most recent headline that he made, though, was moving over to Live Golf last year. It's safe to say that the move was less than popular, but Kepka seems to be rethinking it already. Recent rumors have surfaced that Kepka wants to return to the PGA Tour, but how likely is this? Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this one. Now, let's get right into all the details surrounding if Brooks Kepka could really return to the PGA Tour. Brooks Kepka has been a professional golfer since 2012, but his career didn't really take off until 2017, when he won his first major championship at the U.S. Open with a record-tying round of 16 under par. He returned to the U.S. Open at Shinnecock Hills the following years and won the event again. In doing so, he became the first player to win back-to-back -back titles at the U.S. Open in over 20 years. His success in 2018 wasn't done there either. He picked up his third major victory at the PGA Championship. That put him in elite company with two majors in one season. After winning the CJ Cup in October 2018, Kepka became the number one ranked golfer in the world. He continued his excellent play by defending his title at the 2019 PGA Championship. Although he didn't end up winning the U.S. Open for a third consecutive year, Kepka did also record top five finishes at both the Masters Tournament and the Open Championship in 2019. Brooks had established himself as one of the world's best golfers, and his wallet was definitely happy with those results too. So when rumors of a Saudi-backed golf tour with huge payouts to golfers willing to join up started up in 2020, Kepka immediately stated his opposition to the idea. He claimed that he was already set and wasn't interested in taking any money, saying, money doesn't matter. It's not something that's important. I just want to be happy. Money's not going to make me happy. I just want to play against the best. If somebody gave me $200 million tomorrow, it's not going to change my life. What am I going to get out of it? I already have enough money that I could retire right now, but I don't want to. I just want to play golf. During the next couple years, Kepka started to go through some difficult times. He started to have injury problems during the 2020 season, with his playing being constantly plagued by hip and knee ailments. While he still played well enough to be competitive during 2021, winning the Waste Management Open and tying for second at the PGA Championship, he was struggling mentally and physically. In 2022, his struggles only got worse and he started to be rumored to be one of the golfers who might join the Live Golf as the organization gained steam. Even still, he called out the organization, seeming a long way off from joining. Brooks said, I think it's going to still keep going. I think there will still be talk. Everyone talks about money. They've got enough of it. I don't see it backing down. They can just double up and they'll figure it out. They'll get their guys. Somebody will sell out and go to it. However, not long after the 2022 U.S. Open, Brooks himself became one of those golfers who decided to make the move to live golf. When asked to explain his change of heart, Kepka simply said, What I've had to go through the last two years on my knees, the pain, the rehab, all this stuff, we realize you need a little bit more time off. I'd be the first one to say it's not been an easy last couple years, and I think having a little more break, a little more time at home to make sure I'm 100% before I go play in an event and don't feel like I'm forced to play right away. That was a big thing for me. It was just the burnout part of it. You're not doing a month on the road anymore. Like many others who moved over to live golf, Kepka's statement was pretty even-handed. However, on the recently released Full Swing documentary released on Netflix, we get a different look into Brooks's psyche in the months leading up to the move. We saw during the episode that after a difficult round at the 2022 Masters Tournament, Brooks candidly admitted to his wife, Jenna Sims, I'll be honest with you. I can't compete with these guys week in and week out. It's something that you just don't hear professional athletes say very much, since they're typically supposed to exude confidence. However, the comments show just how Brooks felt due to both his physical and mental struggles. In the episode, Kepka also said, I've had all these question marks for, like, the last year and a half. Is he ever going to be the same golfer? Am I ever going to be the same? And I still don't know where I'm at. Brooks Kepka officially joined Live Golf in June 2022 and appeared in his first event for the organization a couple of weeks later in Portland. In the live golf world, Kepka competed against a smaller field and without cuts. In a way, this allowed him to regain some of his confidence on the course. 
In October 2022, his efforts finally paid off with his first win in 20 months at the Live Golf Invitational Jetta. However, things haven't been totally happy for Kepka during his time at Live Golf. His results have been pretty uneven, having finished well outside of the top 10 several times despite the smaller, less competitive field. In the two recent events that Kepka has played, he struggled. He tied for 46th at the Saudi International and played poorly enough to entirely miss the cut at the International Series Oman on the Asian Tour. Even still, rumors have been swirling that Kepka is eyeing a return to the PGA Tour, feeling unhappy by the continued negative public reaction to the live golf experience. Those rumors also state that he feels that his body is back in good enough shape to play on the PGA Tour and to be competitive, something that he didn't feel was possible several years ago. In a post on his blog, The Fire Pit Collective, journalist Alan Shipnuck wrote, I'm hearing a lot of rumblings that Brooks Kepka has buyer's remorse. He took the money when his brittle body was still being put back together, and in private, he has confided to folks he wasn't sure if he would ever get fully healthy again. But now, Kepka is feeling frisky and supposedly rethinking his career choice. The guy has one of the biggest egos in golf, and as the PGA Tour creates ever-increasing buzz with its elevated events and even the state-sanctioned TGL, Kepka has to feel like he's on the outside looking in. As for the mechanics of returning to his old place of business, a lot hinges on the European Tour lawsuit that is being reviewed by arbitrators in the UK. If the players prevail, that opens the door for the live guys to have unfettered access to the Euro Tour, which will be a boon to a struggling circuit. It would also position livers to play for Europe in the Ryder Cup, all of which would put intense pressure on the PGA Tour to force a truce with Liv. Secretly, PGA Tour CEO Jay Monahan would love for some big-name Liv guys to come home because it would be a PR bonanza for the PGA Tour. So, could Brooks Kepka return to the PGA Tour? As stated in the above blog post, a lot will hinge on various rulings that will need to come down through the court system. However, it might also be necessary for Kepka to pay back his signing bonus money and even make some apologies. However, it all makes sense that Brooks wants to return. After all, when he was at his best, he was a top golfer in the world. If he truly feels better physically, he might also feel that he can't compete at the highest level on the Live Tour. So, we think that Brooks absolutely could join back up with the PGA Tour. It makes a lot of sense, but there are a fair amount of hurdles that still need to be cleared. After all, Brooks is nothing if not competitive and someone who wants to win and be the best more than anything else. As Brooks said in the Full Swing episode, I go back to the first major I ever won. I'd pay back every dollar I've ever made just to have that feeling again for another hour. So, do you think that Brooks Kepka could return to the PGA Tour from Live Golf? If he does, do you think he'll be welcomed back into the fold? And do you think he'll be back to being competitive? Be sure to leave us a comment with what you think down below. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you can watch our latest content updates as soon as they drop. We'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.